let's look at the next question the next question talks about a particular cubic equation where they have said r and c are real numbers if r and minus r are the two roots of this cubic equation then what does c equal to so there are the first two roots are already r and minus r let's put the third root as k just any random i could have taken alpha beta gamma so i could have taken gamma i've just taken k so i've got the first root as r second root as minus r and third root as k i have a couple of approaches you know i'll talk about the approach which i used in the test at that time i did not think of the best approach maybe and i used one of the approach i first put x as r when i say the root is r which means the value of one of the values possible for x is r so i got this equation i got 5r cube plus c r square minus 10 r plus 9 is 0 then i put x as minus r so i got negative 5r cube plus c r square plus 10 r plus 9 is again equal to 0. So, we got that. If I added these two equations as it is, I would have c and r square both, which I do not want. I basically wanted to get rid of c and r square, so I could find r. So, I instead of adding them, subtracted them. So, when I subtracted them, this became 10 r cube. This cuts out 9 and minus 9, minus 9 cuts out. Minus 20 r is equal to 0. 10 r cube is equal to 20 r, r cannot be 0, so I can cut r on both sides, so 10 r square is equal, or I can cut the 0 also, so r square is equal to 2, so r is plus or minus root 2, so the two values which we have, the two roots which we have, one of them is root 2 and the other is minus root 2, third is still k, which means by putting root 2 in the question, it should satisfy, so 5 into root 2 cube, that will become 2 root 2, plus c into root 2 square that will be 2c minus 10 into root 2 is minus 10 root 2 plus 9 is 0. This is 10 root 2 minus 10 root 2 cuts out. So, 2c is minus 9 and c is negative 9 upon 2 which is the second option and this is the approach which I remember using in the exam. Obviously, I think now it turned out too long. There were a couple of easier approaches than this. Let us talk about them. Looking at one more approach, I thought let us use the sum of the roots property. What is sum of the roots? Alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b by a. Now, one root is r, the other root was minus r, third root I told you is I have taken as k is minus b by a that is minus c by 5. So, r and minus r cuts out. So, k is minus c by 5. So, one of the roots of the equation is minus c by 5. That means instead of x, if I put minus c by 5, it should satisfy the equation. So, 5 into minus c by 5, the whole cube, that will become negative c cube upon 125 plus c into negative c upon 5, the whole square, that will become c square upon 25 minus 10 into minus c upon 5 plus 9 is 0. Now, if you notice, these two will cut out because this is 5 25, sir. this is negative c cube upon 25 and this is positive c cube upon 25. So, this cuts out with this. We are left with 5 1s are 5 2s are cuts out. So, we are left with 2c plus 9 is 0. So, 2c is minus 9. c is negative 9 upon 2. That was the second approach for this question by using sum of the roots property. We could have used one more way of finding it, you know, using two roots at a time property. What was that property? Alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is c upon a right so r into minus r plus r into k plus minus r into k is c upon a what is c upon a c in this case is minus 10 upon a is 5 so this is negative r square plus r k minus r k is negative 2 r k r k cut so we've got r square is 2 r is positive or minus root 2 and then the third method will follow the same approach which we followed in the second method, put root 2 back over here or you know again put root 2 over here, you have the value you can put root 2 over here, you will find k, but that does not help you, you want c anyways. So, just put it over here, you will get the value of c. Whichever way you do it, I do not think so it was a category A, but definitely was not a category C also, I could put this as a category B.